Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Shopping with Cheryl. I'm Cheryl, and today we have another unboxing. This one I'm kind of excited about. I've had it for a little bit, but haven't been able to come outside and do an unboxing for you. We've had a lot of wind, and that can ruin video, as you might know. So, today it's kind of calm, kind of overcast, and we're going to open this up. It's by USA Creative Space. Thrasio sent it to me to check out, and I am excited because I love plants, I love the natural look, and this just might be my answer for a few things. So we are going to open this up. This is panels of fake plants that you can use to cover a wall as a background. There's a variety of things you could do with this. My mind has been going with what all I could do, how much I need, because <laughs> I have a feeling, honestly, I'd just cover my whole house with it, but that's not an option. I don't think the neighbors would appreciate it or anybody else, only me, because I like plants. I like the plant look. And there will be an affiliate link for this in the description below. If you use my link and make a purchase, I may make a commission. I have to say that every time because that's the rules and I have to follow them. All right. Oh my. Ah. Now, this stuff is... It's not real heavy. The box itself is not super heavy. It, it's got some weight to it. So don't hurt yourself if you shouldn't be picking things up. But it overall is not near as heavy as I thought it might be. It's all packed in here. Let's, when you pull this up, this is the back to the, the panels and it's plastic. Oh my God, I can see what you can't, okay? Let me flip this the other way. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. I have seen a lot of background uh, type plants like these, you know, where it's the fake plants and you can hook them together to make a privacy fence, to make a wall just for pictures, things like that. And a lot of them just look extremely fake because they're all kind of an odd color. This has color variation in each and every leaf daggone, almost. Not each one, but almost. Enough that it blends nicely so it gives it a natural look. It's also super thick. I mean, some of them are so sparing that you could see through them. This one isn't. It's got a lot of leaves. Now, each of these squares, I'm going to move my box right now so we can kind of work with this. Each of these squares on the back, let's look. It's got one, two, three, four, five, probably on each, I'm guessing, no, five across this side and five across this side. So you've got two sides with five little loops, little uh, holes. The other side has little bumpities where you push them into the next uh, set of holes to hook them together. So I see how they snap together now. But as you can tell, this is pretty nice and thick. I'm going to bring you in in just a minute and show them to you. Let's get, because uh, I believe they're 20 by 20 squares. I'm going to flip it over so it's easier to see. Because those plants, they actually have long stems, so they don't just end right at, some of them, when you get these, they end right at the plastic. You can see it clear cut. And when you hook them together, you can see the seams. These have a lot that hang over the edge so that you're not going to be able to see that edging as well. So let's get as far as the plastic goes. Yeah, they're, yeah, 
I'd say it's, uh, yeah, 20, well, oh, if I go up here, sorry, I was holding the wrong place. Yeah, 20 by 20 squares, you get 12 of these in a box, and to hook them together, you're going to take a side with the bumps. Let me see. And they snap together. They should. I didn't read any instructions. I hope there aren't any in here. Let me turn it over. I think it'll be easier because I can see it. We're going to just snap these together. And they are supposed to be UV and rain uh, resistant, so they're not going to fade. And the thing is, with the multicolored leaves, you're not going to be able to notice one square from the next. Also, if you do get, you know, they get a little dusty, get a little faded, it's not going to be any big deal. You could spray them off easily. Let me hook these. This would probably be easier if I wasn't trying to talk to a camera. But I would like something to cover like the wall behind me. I would also, honestly, if I could get some of this, enough of it, to do the wall behind my live stream. If I had this or Ivy, I've always wanted to do something like that. Something that I didn't have to try to keep alive for real outside. Plants are great house plants, but I couldn't do a whole wall. So there we have hooked these two together. You can't even tell where the pieces are hooked together. Oh, come on in. I want to show you up close. I want to show you these up close so you can see them because they do. They look real. Come on in. Okay, so I brought the camera in and zoomed it in so you can see. Look how, you can kind of see how, how long they are. You've got quite a bit of depth in there so you can't see the plastic pieces down below that hold it. So, like I said, it's nice and varied in color. Now I'm gonna flip it over so you can see the back up close. And there is the back, and this is how I snapped them together. Let me move it more in the center for you. There you go, right here. And as I said, they have, I'll try to get them apart. I don't know how easy they'll be to come apart while I'm on camera. There you go. So you're going to have this little uh, bump here. I know it's hard to see and it fits into one of the little holes and you just push them together and snap them and then you end up with this so if you're thinking cheryl you are just way too excited about this i can tell you what i am because look at this i'm gonna see once I, I mean, I, yeah, I could measure them out. Once I get them all together, I want to see how much space I can cover with this because that will determine what I'm going to do. Like I said, it would be nice if I could do a, even an area so that I could put products in front of it for the background, things like that. Look at this. I'm not... <laughs> I am going to be able to cover a good bit of space just with one of these boxes. And, oh, I think, let me pull this out. Oh, here we go. Ha! Ah, we do have step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, and then it's got the little uh, zip ties that you can use to attach it to things. Let's see, what else is in here? Sweet grass seeds. I think these are seeds. Sweet grass seeds. I don't know what sweet grass is, but I will be Googling that. And, oh, a little lavender plant. Let me, let me open this up. I 
grew, or I lived for a while up in Squim, Washington, which is the lavender capital of the world, I guarantee, or close. They have fields and fields of lavender. Ah, uh, and you also get a little lavender plant, which I will need to pull and situate. That, there you go. Now I got something for my desk too. So, like I said, there's a link to these in the description below. I want you to go check them out. If you're looking for a way to uh, make a little privacy fence, maybe you want to cover up something, whether it's your garbage cans outside, or you don't want to see that neighbor up so close, you can use this on a fence. Make your own little uh, background for pictures, for your Zoom calls, whatever. Check it out. Yeah, I love these. I think I'm gonna have to see about getting some more. And like I said, I would love to get something like this to put on the wall behind me for live streams. You never know where you're gonna see this. So. Hopefully you'll go check that out. You'll subscribe and check me out on Amazon Live. I go live over there. I show all kinds of things and you won't want to miss them. So see you in the next video.